<laughs> Are you fired up? Hello, my name is Caleb Bean, and I'm here with your daily scoop of the news. Re-elected President Gregson will be sworn into office this Tuesday. His last four years were somewhat controversial, and his vice president, David Chapman, had decided to join Gregson as vice president again before this election. He has openly disapproved of Gregson's decisions and has recently responded as no comment when asked if he agrees with Gregson's choices. David, is this what you want to do? Run for office with a guy that you don't even agree with? No, but what would you do? You've been Speaker of the House for two years now. What would you do in a situation like this? I already told you my opinion. I know. I just wish your ideas had another theme besides killing. Well, you know, regretfully, in some situations, that's the only way out. Or the only way into prison. Have you told anyone else your idea? Not another soul. I have known you for a while, Jimmy. I would trust you with my future. But I don't know if this is the right choice for this situation. I mean, if I were to kill a hobo, I would be in jail for life. But if I were to kill the president... <laughs> the whole country would applaud you. I mean, even Benjamin Franklin said that we have a right to overthrow a government that takes away our freedoms. Yes, but he is like my brother. I have spent almost five years with that man, morning and night. I don't know if I have the darkness in my soul to look him in the eye and kill him. If we wait any longer to help the country, we might not have a country anymore to help. Think about it. You would make a good vice president, Jimmy. Take the knife. Hide it in your sleeve. When you walk up to shake his hand, you take that knife and stab him straight in the heart. Then I want you to run as quick as you can and as far as you can. The Secret Service will be following you. I'll have someone pick you up and take you into hiding while the craziness blows over.